Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, last episode we got a little bit distracted by a bookshop, lots of books, um, what appeared to be medieval twilight, and then fondue. So, last episode was a bit short, I do apologise, I had to go eat cheese. I had no choice in the matter. Uh, but here, anyway, we're going to do Fencing Lessons Quest, find out what the hell's going on here, and we need to talk to the Guard Captain. Hello, Guard Captain. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? I'm here to find out if you have some fondue. No, no, I'm here to meet Rosa. Maybe she has fondue. Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Okay, now, I want to say at the very start of this, I'm here for fencing lessons. This should not, at any point, involve me having sex with her. We've already shagged the sorceress, and we're meant to be beholden to Yennefer, and Triss is making, you know, glowy eyes at us, so I'm going to try not to put my dick in anyone else while we're here. Um, but we appear to be going for a romantic walk by the river, so let's see what happens, shall we? I'll do my best, but... Yeah, Geralt's only human. How far away? This this city is quite big. We've spent a lot of time in the city. I'm quite impressed that they're actually making us stay in the city this long, and they're making it this very fun. Because it is quite enjoyable, I have to say. Kind of reminds me of some of the bits of Dragon Age 2, but in a good way. I actually liked Dragon Age 2, so don't take that as a as a bad sign. But I liked the way they kept you in Kirkwall and they had you do stuff, and then stuff changed over time. I thought that was really cool about Dragon Age 2. Um, so I'm kind of I'm, I'm okay with the idea of spending quite a lot of time in this city. I think it's a nice thing that a lot of fantasy games could do better. There's a quest here. Stand and fight. Is he? Oh god, it's you again. You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Okay, let's just get this over with. So this Do guy challenged us before. Now show me what you got. We, uh... We beat his ass quite easily. And I plan on doing so again, because... He he really annoys me. There we go. Now two hits. God man. Had enough. Yes. But next time. For the love go of back God. To Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Um next time I'm just gonna bloody kill you. Seriously. I hate that guy. He's such a pain in the ass. Ooh, a halfling. Have we met a halfling yet? I don't think we have. Halflings! And dwarves. Kind of hard to tell them apart sometimes, but hey. Alright. Hello, Rosa. Nelf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Bar Atra. Said that. And this excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. Okay, what about training? We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. Okay. Whatever you want to show me, as long as you keep your clothes on, I'm fine. Alright, everyone out of the way. Alright, come on, let's go for a walk. There's nothing romantic about this. We're probably going to get attacked anyway. I have to save a life. My shirt will get ripped off. It'll all be very Captain Kirk. Here. 
You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. I really don't want to risk hurting her by, you know, cutting her face off with a bloody sword. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. Okay. I've never been so relieved to have someone actually attack me. Ah! Come damn it, on, lady! Closer. There we go. You all right? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. Okay. Why are you so interested in fencing anyway? I don't know if we asked that. By the way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. Fair enough. Well, I'm sorry I kind of beat you bloody with a sword, but hey, you did ask for it. Alright, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Where'd she go? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Why would you run off? I am not impressed with this turn of events. Alright, footsteps. This has gotta be hers. This way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Trouble? Girl doesn't get to have fun. Girl will stop being a prat. Oh, I see her, I see her, I see her. Oh, I think I see her. I see someone. No, damn it, there's a child. Stupid children, go inside. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we'll see the world ourselves. Damn it. I, okay, I've got to start putting some points into delusion, haven't I? This is going to be a fight. I don't want to kill you. Phrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss off. Well, well, it's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas! Damn it! Come on. I don't want to kill you both, although I will. Stop beating me at sword fighting. Because I will just set you on fire. Bloody hell. He was only a peasant. That seemed a bit over the top. Took his old head off. Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me. As you did. No. So you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa. Those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs. They got what they deserved. Hmm. That 
wasn't very nice. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Well, there we go. Quest completed. Did unfortunately have to kill two people for the sake of what is basically a spoiled brat. Oh well, I'm sure the various children who watched me take that guy's head clean off learned a valuable lesson. Now we do actually have some character points to spend. Maybe we should look at actually putting some of this into delusion so I can get my way out of trouble without having to kill people. Um, so what was it? Delusion. There we go. Increases the effectiveness of Axii in dialogues. That would probably be quite useful. Alright, let's put a point into that. And... You know what? I'm actually tempted to do that again. Let's see, we've got our Yerden sign boosted up, but we haven't equipped that yet. We do have a spare slot now. Must have got that when we came to level 15 and hadn't realised. Let's see, what could we do? We could increase Igni into fire stream and alternate sign mode. Emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. That does sound pretty cool. I like that. I could also max out lightning reflexes or arrow deflection. Both of those would be quite useful. We've also got battle trance then kind of pushing at the moment. I want to stop killing people if I don't have to do it. I'm actually going to put a second point into the illusion. Just... There we go. Just so that we, if we don't have to, we can be diplomatic and not murder everyone. Because, you know, we could have talked our way out of that if I put my points a bit more... a bit more wisely. And uh, that wasn't to be the case. So, there we go. That was fencing lessons. Not the worst that could have been. But we did end up murdering people. So, still. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't have to sleep with her. So, I'm going to call this episode here, and we'll carry back on with the main quest. We'll go find Junior, sort out the horse son, and uh, yeah, that'll be fun. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!